Okay, we're going to go over the basics so you can do some basic AutoCAD stuff uh, when you're doing architecture. So click on Arc uh, AutoCAD, get it open, and go ahead and click New. We're looking to just start a regular drawing. All right, so we've been doing stuff in um, uh, 3D modeling. You want to make sure you change this so it says Drafting and Annotation if it's not uh, already. And we'll click on Top. So when we do architectural floor plans, everything's 2D from the top, um, at least in AutoCAD. All right, so the first thing you want to do is type in the word units, right, because before we were working in decimal places, and now what we want to do is work in architectural, and we're going to change our precision to just feet and inches. Um, if we were doing smaller things other than floor plans, we would probably go to more precise numbers, but that's all we need to do uh, right there, okay? So we've got that down. The next thing we're going to do is go to the part here where it says property layers, or layer properties and we're going to go to this button right here and create a new layer and we're going to call it construction all right you're going to make a construction layer we're going to go ahead and click that and make it yellow so it's really visible to see and this part right here where it says plot and you got a little printer there but we don't want it to print those this layer ever um, go ahead and double click it it'll become your or double click that it should become your current layer so there's a check mark there and go from there okay Let's say we're going to make a house that's 40 foot by 20 foot. Uh, I'm going to start by click, clicking on draw and I'm going to go to a construction line right there and I'm going to come near the origin point. Oh, I want to do a horizontal line to go near the origin point right across like that. And it, um, right click when I'm done, I'll right click and repeat that X line again and do a vertical one and I'll do it right there. All right, so it's close to the origin point. Um, maybe not exact, but it's close. I'll zoom back a little bit so when we click offset we'll offset a distance of say 20 feet all right offset 20 feet and 20 foot will go that way all right so let's see it should be visible right there so this time when we do offset again we'll do 40 feet and we'll go that way so that's basically right there that rectangle is going to be the outside of our house so um, if you want to get you know a little crazy you could go ahead and change it back to this and click on line and go from endpoint to endpoint to endpoint or intersection 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 so now the white line is there when you click just so you see when you click print when we go to the end remember the construction lines are on let's change this to DWG to PDF uh, we'll change this to extents, center the plot, leave it to fit to paper, and when you click preview, you'll notice it just does the rectangle. It didn't plot those other lines, um, so that'll help you in the long run. All right. So now what we want to do is make sure we did get the offset right. So we're going to offset, and we're going to type in six inches. Right. We got that, and we're going to offset this line this way, this line this way, this line this way this line this way um, so we get the exterior walls and what those thicknesses are there <clears throat> um, when you want to do uh, let's say we wanted a 10 foot room in here we're going to offset that we'll put in 10 feet and offset this line that way all right um, so now when you're doing uh, CAD stuff to get four inch walls at that point because this is a line right here in the center we're going to offset this one two inches and we'll offset this way and this way all right so let's then say okay now we'll use those lines in that intersection later on for um, for dimensioning so you're gonna you're gonna need it but there you got that wall and you can click on this line and this line and just go up to the layer right here and change that to zero by clicking on zero it changes them automatically now so they are now walls that you would see when you printed <clears throat> um, and you might want to trim, use that as a cutting edge, and this is a cutting edge, and get rid of the white parts that extend beyond that. So these are just little tricks to help you get through um, the creating stuff in AutoCAD. So we've done the walls. All right. Um, I might go back in here then, and uh, you might even go as far as say, all right, I'm going to use this line as a cutting edge, this one as a cutting edge. This one is a cutting edge, and get rid of the white lines that you have there, or the ones you just created. All right, so um, we've got that down. Oh, we want, probably want to trim uh, this part too, trim that part out and that part out. 
you know, you want to make sure that those are solid. And the reason you're doing this is because we're going to make these walls right here that, that you can't see now. We're going to click on them. And we're going to change them to the object layer. So now you can see those walls. So when you print them, you're in good shape. Um, okay. So the next thing we want to do is go to um, View. Go to Tool Palettes. And when you go to Tool Palettes, you'll see... In here, there's a bunch of options, and we've kind of fooled with the vehicle thing before, but right here we want to talk about putting in doors. So when you go to put in a door, right, it already makes a door for you. So if I were going to put a door in here on this house, I would go into this area here, something like that, right? I'll place that in there. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I get it. If, if I was putting it into, next to a wall, I want to make sure that I've got some kind of two inches offset there. So I would probably go back to home. Uh, I'll just place that there for now. Click move. I'm going to move this from here to there. And then I'm going to move it again. I want that two inch gap from the wall. With the ortho on, I'll move two inches this way. So now I've got my two inch gap. Now, it's obviously open in the wrong way because you want that to open towards the wall. The way to do that would be to click on this. And you've got options here. Um, of clicking this button and it switches it the other direction. There's options down here to make it flip the other way. So you just really got to get it in place to do stuff. You can make it so the door opens at a 45 degree angle, opens at 60 or opens at 90, whatever you want. Um, 90 is always kind of nice. Uh, but if you want to just make it so it's at 60 or 30 is, is fine. Any one of those is okay. You can even make it so it's closed, but sometimes that can be confusing because um, it kind of sort of look like a window and I'll show you here in a second. All right, so let's go back to 30. We'll leave that open there. And you also have this option here of making them longer or shorter. So if I only want a three-foot door, I'd move it here. These are standard door widths when you do when you uh, use these things here. So two foot, two foot four, two foot six, two foot eight, three foot. This is an exterior door, so I would use one of these two doors like that. All right, so now when we've got that done, we can click on trim click this part right here, right click, and we want to get rid of those parts uh, right there. Um, remember, that's uh, beyond that. Oh, look, so I had a little issue here, right, where that disappears, so I'm just going to click on the line, create a line that goes from here to here, and I want that to be an, the object line that we can see. Um, it also looks like it may have erased when I trim that. Looks like it might have trimmed this off of here. So I'll just go ahead and draw a line that goes from there back over to here again. All right, so I've got that those walls in place there. All right, so I can also, since that layer's on, I can go up here and freeze this layer and turn it off to see what I, you know, to see what's, what object layers are available or what I can see. All right, I'm going to turn this back on just so we can, it helps us with, keeping things lined up orthographically. The next thing, we've got a door, so we'll go ahead and go over here and click on a window. We're going to make windows really, really easy. Um, so we'll click on a spot like right here. And um, let's see, it looks like it rotated it around the wrong way. So I'm going to try it one more time. I looked away for a second. Click on window. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to click on spot right. Let's see. Put a spot right there. All right. <clears throat> now notice this, and the door does the same thing. You'll see here if you click on this, you can uh, maybe it's this one. You can change the wall thickness, so that's a six-inch wall, which is exterior walls. You might use five for something else, but um, for the most part, you're going to do six. And this one here does the same. So this is for a, a wall if it's if it were four inches. Now you might have a four-inch exterior wall in like a mobile home or something or a five-inch exterior wall but this one we're using six so we'll go up with that six right there and you can change the width of your standard windows to one foot two foot uh, two foot six three foot on out here to five foot windows those would be really big but we'll just go with three foot on this one because it fits and I might move it then back to right here to here and what I might want to do is maybe draw a line that goes from that midpoint there on through and then move the window again and move it from this midpoint here to now shift right click 
to the perpendicular of this. So now that is right in the middle of that. That, but that's what a window should look like. All right. Okay. So now that we've got windows and doors figured out, and you know how to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and close. Uh, close this. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then we'll start figuring out dimensioning. Now, when you do dimensioning, um, so obviously something's kind of a little bit off. Um, because what we want to do is dimension this part right here and you see how it doesn't show up so we've got to change some stuff in here and this might be a little trial and error on your part um, but we'll try to get it as close as we can when we do this so um, let's go manage its text styles um, no we want to manage the dimension style so it's this one um, and we'll stick with what we got. But what we're going to do is we're going to take what we have and modify it. First thing we want to do is change our units to architectural. And we want to go to 00, zero for floor plan. Um, and that should be good enough. Now, architects do something different where they go into their symbols. They don't use arrows. They use these architectural ticks. And it does changes that for both of those on there. Um... You naturally think you want to make the text size bigger, but what you really want to do is come here and change your overall scale to um, probably something like 24 to 40, depending on what's going on. So, see it made it larger in there. And we'll click OK here and close. And when we go to put dimensions on now, I want to dimension from there to the center of this window. It is visible. All right, and that's what you're trying to do. So you want to do that on these parts so it's visible that you can see it now depending on how big it is you might want to go back in to you to this and manage that style and say all right well I don't want it to be 24 we might want it to be a little bit bigger maybe 40 or something like that so it's a little bigger there you can see a whole lot easier which would then in turn mean I'm gonna do a dimension that goes from here to there I'll do a dimension that goes from the interior of the room to the perpendicular right there. So that's 10 foot there. All right, and do other ones so you'll see how this works. I just want to do this to show you really quickly um, how to go about doing that. And that's you know puts it in there 40 feet. So I'm going to move that out of here real quick and then move it to the midpoint. So I put them in the middle. So then it's clear. So then when we click on print, go to DWG to PDF, uh, extents center preview, you'll see that that comes up and you can read all of those dimensions really easily. All right. So that's the basics that you need to be able to do to do AutoCAD stuff. If you need to go back, I know the video is going to be like, when it's said and done, it'll be like 14 minutes long, but, um, that should be enough to get you started so you can go ahead and get moving on the CAD floor plans.